On a nice Sunday morning in New Delhi, I came up to my desk to start studying for my upcoming MCH plastic surgery final exams. And while I was browsing through Twitter to get the latest news and updates, I came across this tweet by Notability about a major update in their app. The Notability 14 as they call it. And since it's a major update, it deserves a video. Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to the channel. So Notability has come up with a new upgrade to its app and since Notability and GoodNotes are the two most popular note taking app, uh, I thought I'll share my views about the new update on this app and I'm really impressed by it. I think Notability is doing a great job with their app and the recent update has brought it pretty close to GoodNotes 5. If you've been following my channel, you know that GoodNotes 5 is my favorite app currently for uh, making notes. But this app might change my mind and I might start using Notability more than GoodNotes 5. I'm not sure. We'll just check it out. What are all the features available in this update? And then we'll see whether Notability can now be a better app than GoodNotes 5. So when you install the update, you are greeted by this new animation where they introduce the new features, uh, what all updates they have done. So now you have all your tools in one place. You can access your tools from this movable floating toolbox. Uh, they have your classic tools like the pencil, record, tape, laser pointer and uh, now a free ruler also they have brought. And you can uh, adjust the position. You can bring it on the left side or the right side of the screen. It gives you more flexibility to work with. And then you can uh, style it as per your own liking. They now have tools uh, which have their own dedicated style trays. The style trays can be uh, made invisible by just a tap. When you tap that uh, tool, uh, the style tray will appear or when another tab it will disappear. And you can create your own sets of colors and sizes for each tools. You can add as many as you like. So the customization options have now become more user friendly in this. And they have also refreshed their library. The user interface is completely refreshed. You can see all your notes uh, at one place together. And on the right top is an option to create a new note and you can choose the template you want with that note and you are straight away into the note you can start modifying it as you like then you can view them as a grid option and as a list option as well so all your notes now appear uh, like this and they have a tag on the bottom where it is showing you the subject it belongs to like i have a plastic surgery subject and then i have some uh, patient's name for my thesis so it is showing me in different colors which subject it belongs to then if you go to the gallery you will be uh, shown uh, some of the options to use the templates like you have some notes templates weekly planners uh, daily planners this is a huge list of templates that notability has this is way better than good notes i would say the template option is there in good notes as well but the amount of options that notability is providing you with the help of various creators is amazing actually you have everything that you need to use your ipad as a productivity tool you have the template for that and if you have the classic plan of notability these are free to use weekly schedule you have a diet plan you have packing list whatever you need in your daily life you have a template for that this is an amazing feature i love it and you can go to the trending option to see the most used templates currently and also there's a discover option where you will be given a whole library of available templates now let's open a note and see how things work with this new update so if you tap on that particular tool the tray appears or disappears then you can use your pen as you like you can customize your pen various uh, thicknesses various uh, transparency and various types of pens that you want to use and different colors. One of the most interesting features and my favorite feature has to be this undo feature that they had brought. Now all you need to do is tap with two fingers just once. Good notes requires you to tap twice. Now notability all you need to do is while writing just tap with two fingers and it will undo. Wonderfully works and really increases your speed of writing. Then you can choose the type of uh, pen you want to use whether a uh, ink pen kind of a flow or a ball pen kind of a flow then a dotted flow and the dotted flow also has two options so if you like to get innovative with your notes you can all use all these features i am not an expert in note taking i have seen people make beautiful beautiful notes i'm not so good but with these features and if i work on it more i'm pretty sure that i can make really beautiful notes as well the highlighter works fine it is not making the text faded at all although it does not go behind the text as clearly as in good notes but this is smooth there's no transition uh, like you can't see that uh, highlighter going behind the text in good notes there is a transition which you can clearly see that yes it is now going behind the text in this it is smooth and naturally happens 
without fading the text then you have an eraser option now they have brought a freestyle eraser like you keep using this eraser and wherever you go you can just freely take it wherever you want and it will start erasing it and there is some artificial intelligence involved here i can see the erasing pattern it is better and it recognizes by chance you are about to erase something which you were not planning to like if you have a layer over another uh, I can't. I don't know how to explain it properly, but the erasing tool does recognize that you're trying to erase this part of the text and not the one behind it or the one in front of it, like a highlighter and text together. Then you have an option to add text. You can simply click on the text option. A text box will appear, and then you can simply start writing. You can modify the font. You can modify the size, bold, italics. All the basic options are there, and you have a lasso tool as well, free from as well as boxed. A lasso tool is also available. And once you select what you want to work with, you get different options to style it, to duplicate it, to change the color, to cut, copy and move it around. All kinds of customization options are available, just like in GoodNotes and any other app. And if you want to add an image, you can simply click on the image option and add an image from your photos library. Uh, like uh, I have an angiogram here. I'll just add it here to the notes and you can work with this image, crop it, modify it, convert it to a link as well. You can just tap on it and go to a page. And then you have some stickers as well. These Stickers are also customizable. You can create your own stickers. All sorts of wonderful stickers are available. Choose whichever you like. There is no limit to creativity here. You can go to any limits to make your notes look beautiful. You can add GIF images. You can add templates, anything you like. And then uh, this is an old notability feature. You can uh, record audio notes as well. So while you're taking notes in class, if you want to record the teacher's voice along with what you're writing, just click on this uh, audio record button and it will start recording the teacher's voice as well. And it is synced with what you're writing. So when you replay, it, the text will also appear your notes will also uh, start appearing in the same sequence as the note audio is playing and then you have a laser option if you want to present using your iPad you can simply use this laser option wonderfully works and you have an option to hide something as well so if you want to revise something with your notes you can simply put this sticker over the notes and when you tap on this sticker this sticker will disappear and you will see the text underneath it wonderful uh, feature I was, I'm glad to see this. I did not have it when I was preparing for my exams. Uh, this is a very useful feature, especially when you're appearing for a competitive exam and you want to be quick and you want to check your memory, whether you remember the answer or not. This feature is going to help you a lot. Just hide your answer and tap it to see it. And then you have a ruler to see the degrees and measure and everything. So if you're drawing something, if you're an artist, you will need this uh, ruler as well. So it is a free ruler, works as you like. You can go wild with it and on the right side then you have an option to share your notes you can share it uh, using airdrops you can share to good notes all the options which are standard for ipads and then there are some sharing options how do you want to share it the format you want to take the page range what kind of paper recordings whatever you want to send you can print your notes using this app and you can use cloud services and you can publish this to your gallery as well you will have to log in and create an account for this and there is an option to share a link with someone where you want to collaborate and work together on a note and there are templates these templates are beautiful Beautiful. Uh, all various colors see you can already see six or seven colors of pages available unlimited templates all kinds of rulers are available great options and then when you go to settings you can have a seamless page view where you can go from top to down or you can have a single page view where you will have to horizontally scroll, scroll your pages and see them and you can move your toolbar as you like towards the left or towards the right and gives you a lot of freedom then you can have a night mode and the night mode works great actually if you just click on the night mode it magically transforms everything into a different color and adjusts the color of each thing automatically like the text becomes from black to white the background becomes from light to a dark background all the other colors also adjust so a lot of ai is involved in this and works beautifully and then there is a zoom view if you are an artist if you're doing minute work and if you want uh, intricacies in your notes then you can use it uh, zoom in on your uh, note at a particular part of the page and draw whatever you like and write whatever you like and let's test the multi window feature as well so you can just simply pick up another note by swiping from the left and then you can put the note on the top on the left or the right wherever you like it works seamlessly and you can have a multi window option in notability as well so this way you can have a book on one side and your notes on one side or two notes on uh, either side or two books on either side and you want to have a comparative view use them as you like i usually do put a book on one side and my notes on the left side and then when i'm noting making notes uh, i just reduce this uh, book slightly and have a larger space occupied by the note 
uh, window so that I can write comfortably. And if you have a 12.9 inch iPad, this feature will be really helpful for you. I have the 11 inch. I feel it is a little restrictive while using a multi window feature. Having a larger screen helps. And when you click on the new note option, there is a one tap uh, option to open your notes. You will directly see which uh, ruling you like. You like a ruled page, a grid page or a dotted page and you'll directly go to that page. You don't need to do anything else. You can import a document uh, from your uh, library and you can even scan anything immediately and get it as a document. Like if I scan this book here and immediately it recognizes the page, takes a picture by itself. You don't even need to click and you can scan multiple pictures at a time. It will directly come to your note and you can then work on it and modify it as you like, highlight it annotate on it do whatever you like then you have the setting option uh, this is almost the same as it was so i won't go into the detail of it there are two plans available a classic notability plan or a notability plus plan which gives you more features and if you're using a notability to read books you have an option to jump to various pages from the right side you just enter the page number where you want to go and you will go to that page directly you can have a thumbnail view on the right side but it still does not have an outline I request Notability to please look into it. This is an important feature for PDFs. You should have an outline. Just seeing the thumbnails is not good enough for large books. If I want to go to a particular chapter directly, I don't want to check the page number every time and then go to it. I should have an outline option here as well. There is bookmarks, but you will have to make them separately. So one feature that is missing here is outline, which is available in GoodNotes and it is a great feature. And if you want to uh, search for some text in a book, you just, just type it. It searches quickly. There is no delay and shows you all the pages which have that word in it and you can just go through it. So search feature works pretty fine. Now let's try one of the templates that is available. Uh, I'll just go through this notes template by Killer Brought X3. You can follow this person as well if you like their templates. So they've created a community of sorts. So you just click on uh, save and use and this will download the template and then you just tap on create to start using that template and then you can just start writing and making notes on notability using that template. Works fine. And if you're traveling, you want to have a packing list, you can download this template where you can have a packing list where you can choose your clothes, toiletries, miscellaneous, electronics, whatever you want to carry with yourself. And if you are a diet conscious person, if you work out and if you are health conscious, then this meal planner works wonderfully for you. You can write your breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, whatever you're having for the whole week, what you plan to have and what you actually had, you can make a plan and compare and improve your diet. So yeah, these are the features available in Notability 14 update. So yeah, after seeing all these features, I think that Notability is pushing very hard to get ahead of GoodNotes 5. The writing experience seems much better. Also, I used it after a long time. So maybe there was some newness to it and I could feel that the writing experience was quite good. So yeah, for the next uh, couple of months, I might be trying uh, Notability as my note taking app and I'll come up with my long term review. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the like button. Thank you for watching. You are watching the Tech Doctor. Namaste.